If you want to know what drives changes in the universe, it's all about energy. A big part of that is a thermal energy, in fact the movement of it, heat. In this lesson video, we're going to look at some of that. So we're going to introduce the ideas about conduction, convection and radiation. And then after I've done that, you should go and look at some other videos where we look at some interesting examples. Conduction first. In a solid, particles are vibrating, so they are moving. If we heat one end of a metal bar, the particles there will vibrate more vigorously. They then hit the particles next to them and pass on some of this energy. As this continues, the energy gets spread through the bar. Metals can do it even better because as well as the vibration, they have free electrons that can zip along taking some of the energy. That's why metals are such good thermal conductors and electrical conductors. For convection, when a liquid gets heated, it will expand. Since mass stays the same, density drops and a less dense material floats upwards. That's why hot liquid and hot gases rise. Now please don't say heat rises, it's the material that rises. Cooler liquid is more dense so it drops down and fills the gap. For radiation, now all objects radiate infrared all the time. That's why you can see people with an infrared camera. Right now I'm radiating energy to the sun, but the sun is radiating a lot more to me, so we normally just ignore me. You will have noticed that if you go out on a hot, sunny day wearing black, you get hot quicker. That's because black, dull surfaces absorb heat more, more quickly than white, shiny surfaces. The black surfaces also radiate more, so if you step into the shade wearing black, you should cool down more quickly too. That's a quick summary, but the examples are really important too, so make sure you pay close attention to them and get some good quality notes. 